Hello dreamers and welcome to The Sleepy Scholar, the podcast that helps you learn in your dreams. I'm Debbie, your guide, leading you through a magical love story from ancient Ireland that transcends time and space. Close your eyes and imagine the soft embrace of candlelight and the rustle of ancient scrolls as we embark on a journey through the mists of time. Tonight, immerse yourself in our story, Legends of Tiernan Oak, where love and magic intertwine to capture your heart and spark your imagination. So get cosy now and let's begin our exploration of Irish mythology together. It's a joy to welcome you to the Sleepy Scholar, your new home for all things calm and cosy, where imagination knows no bounds, and every dream is a new adventure. Remember to share this podcast with anyone who loves Irish mythology, or who simply enjoys the gentle embrace of a soothing tale. You can find me on YouTube, Spotify, and everywhere you get your podcasts. Now let's pause for a moment to relax and release the day's worries. Snuggle down. Gently close your eyes and draw in a deep soothing breath. Then let it out slowly letting go of any tightness within you. Feel the weight of your body sinking into the surface beneath you, supported and safe. In this moment, there is only peace and serenity. Let the rhythm of your breath carry you away as we begin our exploration of the enchanting world of Irish mythology. Close your eyes and let your imagination soar. Picture a place where time stands still where the air is alive with magic and the very earth pulses with an ancient power. This is Tir Nanog, the fabled land of eternal youth, where the boundaries between reality and fantasy blur into one seamless tapestry of enchantment. In this other world, the sky is a canvas painted with hues more vivid than any mortal eye has ever seen. Imagine it now, stretching endlessly overhead, a breathtaking palette of cerulean blue and golden hues that dance and shimmer like liquid sunlight. Clouds drift lazily across the horizon, casting fleeting shadows over emerald hills and lush valleys below. But it is not just the sky that holds such wonder in the land of eternal youth. No, dear dreamers. 
for the very ground beneath your feet is alive with magic too. Visualize the earth, rich and fertile, teeming with life in all its myriad forms. And oh, the air, sweet and heady, it carries with it the scent of blooming flowers and dew-kissed grass, mingling with the tang of salt from the nearby sea. Listen closely, and you might hear the soft, melodic strains of music drifting on the breeze. A hauntingly beautiful melody that seems to echo from every corner of the land. This is Tir Nanog, a land of beauty beyond compare, where every sight, sound and sensation serves to remind you of the boundless wonders of life that lie just beyond the reach of mortal hands. So allow yourself to be swept away on the wings of enchantment to this magical realm where dreams come true and love knows no bounds. Fado, Fado, there lived a young warrior poet named Oshin, whose heart burned with a passion for adventure and a thirst for knowledge. Oshin was not just any mortal man, but the son of the legendary Fionn Makul a hero of unparalleled renown. With his father's strength and his mother's wisdom, Oshin roamed the hills and valleys of Ireland. His spirit as wild and free as the wind that swept across the land. Now, Picture a maiden of unearthly beauty with eyes like pools of liquid amber and hair that shimmered like spun gold in the sunlight. This was Neve, the radiant princess of Tirnanog, whose very presence seemed to illuminate the world around her with a divine light. Born of the other world, Neve was no ordinary mortal maiden, but a creature of magic and mystery, her beauty unmatched by any mortal woman. It was on a day much like any other that Oshin first laid eyes upon Neve. Though little did he know that his life would never be the same again. As he wandered the shores of a secluded lake, lost in thought and poetry, he stumbled upon a sight that took his breath away. There, standing amidst a halo of sunlight, was Neve herself. Her eyes alight with a spark of curiosity as she gazed upon the mortal man before her. Their eyes met in that moment. Oshin and Neve, and in an instant, the world around them seemed to fade away, 
leaving only the two of them standing there, locked in a silent exchange of understanding. There was a magic in that meeting, dear dreamers, a spark of recognition that transcended time and space, drawing them together with an irresistible force. At first, Oshin hesitated, unsure what to make of this ethereal creature who had crossed his path. But as he looked into Neve's eyes, he felt something stir within him, a longing that he could not explain. And though he knew not where it would lead, he found himself drawn to her, heart and soul, as if guided by some unseen hand. And so began the journey of Oshin and Neve, two souls destined to be together, their love a beacon of light in a world shrouded with darkness. With each passing moment, their bond grew stronger until it seemed as though nothing in this world or the next could ever tear them apart. For in the heart of Tirna Oak, where dreams become reality and love knows no bounds, Ashin and Neve found a love that would stand the test of time itself. Now, let's imagine the vast expanse of the open sea, stretching out before you like an endless canvas painted with shades of azure and indigo. This was the realm that Oshin found himself traversing as he embarked on his journey to Tirnanog. Guided by the whispered promises of Neve's love and the allure of a life free from pain and sorrow. As Oshin set sail upon the shimmering waters, a sense of both excitement and trepidation filled his heart. The spray of the ocean air caressed his skin, while the rhythmic lullaby of the waves echoed in his ears, soothing his troubled thoughts and beckoning him ever onward. The voyage itself was a symphony of sights and sounds. As Oshin journeyed across the majestic crashing waves, their frothy peaks glistened in the golden light of the setting sun. Each crest and trough seemed to dance and sway in time with the gentle rhythm of the ocean, a mesmerizing spectacle that filled Oshin with a sense of wonder and awe. And there it was, the night sky. How it sparkled and shimmered with the light of a thousand stars, each one a beacon of hope and guidance in the darkness. As Oshin gazed up at the celestial canopy above, he couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over him, as if the universe itself were whispering words of encouragement in his ear. Yet amidst the beauty of the sea and sky, 
Oshin found himself grappling with conflicting emotions. Torn between the familiar ties to his people and the promise of eternal happiness that lay just beyond the horizon. Would he have the courage to leave it all behind? To cast aside the bonds of mortality in pursuit of a love that transcended time itself? In the quiet moments of the night, as he lay beneath the canopy of stars, Oshin pondered these questions, his heart heavy with uncertainty. But with each passing moment, the pull of Neve's love grew stronger until it became impossible to resist. And so, with a steadfast resolve and a sense of purpose burning in his soul, Oshin set his course for Tir Nanog, ready to embrace whatever destiny awaited him in the land of eternal youth. And so, before long, Oshin found himself in this Eden, in the idyllic realm of Tir Nanog. He and Neve had forged a life of unparalleled beauty and wonder. Here, in this enchanted land, Every moment was a treasure to be cherished. Every experience a testament to the unconditional love that bound them together. Imagine the lush forests that surround Oshin and Neve's home their branches reaching skyward like outstretched arms, as if beckoning the lovers to explore their secrets. Here, amidst the dappled sunlight and fragrant blossoms, Oshin and Neve would often take leisurely strolls, their laughter mingling with the gentle rustle of leaves and the song of birds overhead. But it was not just the forests of Tir Nanog that held such a lure for Oshin and Neve. No, dear dreamers, for there were meadows to be discovered too, where wildflowers of every hue carpeted the ground in a riot of colour and fragrance. Here, amidst the swaying grasses and the dancing butterflies, Oshin and Neve would while away the hours, lost in the simple joy of each other's company. And then there were the nights, when the moon hung low in the sky casting a silvery glow over the land below. It was on nights such as these that Oshin and Neve would take to the open fields, their hearts light with the promise of adventure and discovery. Together they would dance beneath the stars, their laughter ringing out like music in the night as if the very heavens themselves were rejoicing in their love. But amidst the joy and wonder of their daily adventures, it was the tender moments of intimacy and connection that truly defined Oshin and Neve's life in Tirnanog. 
In the calm embrace of the night, they gazed into each other's eyes and whispered words of love and devotion. In those moments, time seemed to stand still, as Ashin and Neve basked in the warmth of each other's embrace, their hearts entwined in a bond that transcended the boundaries of mortal life. But before long, in the quiet moments of reflection, Oshin's longing for his homeland first began to stir, like a dormant seed awakening from its slumber. At first it was but a whisper, a fleeting memory of a life left behind, a world of mortal joys and sorrows that Oshin thought he had left behind forever. But as the days turned into weeks, and the weeks into months, that whisper grew louder, until it became a relentless roar, drowning out the joy and wonder of life in Tiernanog. And so Oshin found himself caught in the grip of a fierce internal struggle, torn between the familiar comforts of his past and the promise of eternal happiness that lay before him. On one hand there was the pull of his homeland, with its rugged landscapes and wild untamed beauty where his ancestors had forged their legacies for generations. It was a world that held memories of childhood, laughter and youthful adventures. A world that Oshin thought he had left behind forever. And on the other hand, there was Tiernan Oak with its endless vistas and boundless beauty, where every moment was a treasure to be cherished, and every experience a testament to the power of love. It was a world that Oshin had come to know and love, a world where he had found solace and joy in the arms of his beloved Neve. Yet, despite the enchantment of Tiernan Og, Oshin couldn't shake the feeling that something was missing, that there was a void within him that could only be filled by the memories of his past. And so, after three years of wedded bliss, he found himself on the precipice of a decision that would shape the course of his destiny, to stay and embrace the eternal happiness that awaited him in the other world, or to return to Ireland to see his people. Neve's heart filled with sorrow knowing that their time together in Tiernan Og was drawing to a close. She begged him not to leave, pleading with him to stay by her side and continue to bask in the eternal happiness they had found together. But Oshin's desire to return to Ireland could not be quelled and despite Neve's protests, he set out on his journey, determined to reunite with his family and reclaim the life he had left behind. With a heavy heart, 
Neve bid him farewell, knowing that she could not protect him outside the magical realm of Tirnanog. She gave him her white horse, the faithful steed that had carried them across the seas of time and space, and watched as he rode off into the distance disappearing from view. As Oshin ventured into the Irish countryside, his heart filled with anticipation at the thought of seeing his family once more. But as he searched the land for any sign of his tribe, he only found silence and emptiness the echoes of his past fading into the mists of time. What had felt like three years of joy and happiness in Tirnan Oak had in fact been three centuries in the mortal realm, and Oshin's family and tribe were but distant memories lost to the sands of time. And then, tragedy struck. As Oshin came upon a group of Irishmen struggling to move a large boulder, he dismounted from his horse to lend them aid. But in his haste to help, he lost his balance and fell to the ground his hand brushing against the soil of Ireland. In that moment, dear dreamers, Oshin felt a chill run through his body, as if the very life force within him was being drained away. He looked down at his hands, now wrinkled and weathered, and realised with horror that he had become an old man in the blink of an eye. With his last breath, Oshin whispered Neve's name, longing for the warmth of her embrace and the love they had shared in Tiernan Oak. But she was nowhere to be found her presence fading into the mists of memory as he slipped away into the darkness. The stars wept and the world trembled as the earth itself seemed to mourn his passing. In that fleeting moment between life and death, Oshin's spirit lingered, reaching out for the faint echoes of a love that had once filled his soul with light. But as the shadows closed in around him, he realised with a heavy heart that his beloved Neve was forever beyond his grasp. And so, with a whisper carried away on the wind, Oshin surrendered to the embrace of eternity, his essence becoming one with the timeless fabric of the universe. Love and longing, these are the threads that weave together the tapestry of our ancient story. Through the eyes of Oshin and Neve, we witness the transformative power of love, which knows no boundaries of time or space. 
Theirs is a love that bridges the gap between mortal and immortal realms, uniting them in a bond that is as enduring as the stars themselves. But with love come sacrifice. Ashin's journey to Tir Nanog represents a moment of profound sacrifice, as he must choose between the comfort of his past and the promise of eternal happiness in the other world. It is a decision that weighs heavily on his heart as he grapples with the longing for connection and the allure of the unknown. And yet, even as Oshin embarks on his journey, he is reminded of the fleeting nature of human existence and the timeless allure of immortality. For in Tirna Nog, where every moment is a treasure to be cherished, he discovers that even the most enduring love cannot withstand the passage of time. It is a bittersweet realization, one that speaks to the transience of life and the eternal longing for something beyond ourselves. At its core, this story embodies the Celtic belief in the interconnectedness of the natural world and the supernatural. The portrayal of Tir Nanog as a land of eternal youth and beauty reflects this concept of the other world, a realm of spiritual renewal and rebirth where the boundaries between life and death are blurred. Through Oshin's journey, we glimpse the Celtic worldview, which emphasizes the cyclical nature of life and the interconnectedness of all living things. In Tir Nanog, where every moment is infused with magic and mystery, we see echoes of this ancient belief. A reminder that the natural world is a place of wonder and awe, where the mundane and the mystical coexist in harmony. And yet, amidst the beauty of Tirnanog, there lies a poignant reminder of the impermanence of human existence. Oshin's tragic fate echoes the Celtic motif of the hero's journey, wherein the protagonist must confront adversity and ultimately transcend the mortal realm. His story serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the fleeting nature of life and the importance of cherishing every moment. Let us take a moment to explore the story's connections to other mythological tales from around the world. For just as the stars above are connected by invisible threads, so too are the stories of love and longing that have captivated audiences across cultures and generations. Legends of Tir Nanog shares remarkable parallels with other mythological narratives such as the ancient Greek tale of Orpheus and Eurydice and the medieval romance of Tristan and Isolde. In the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, 
Orpheus embarks on a perilous journey into the underworld to rescue his beloved, revealing the profound lengths to which love can propel individuals. Similarly, the legend of Tristan and Isolde portrays a forbidden love that challenges societal norms, leading the protagonists on a tumultuous journey of passion and sacrifice. In our Irish legend, Oisin's choice to forsake his immortal love and return to his mortal homeland ultimately results in tragic consequences. Likewise, Orpheus's own recklessness leads to the loss of Eurydice, illustrating the destructive impact of clinging to the past. Similarly, Tristan and Isolde grapple with the repercussions of their forbidden romance culminating in their tragic demise, emblematic of the inherent sorrow within their love. Each of these tales delves into the theme of transcendence, exploring humanity's yearning to surpass mortal constraints. Through their profound exploration of human emotions, love, loss, and the pursuit of transcendence. These timeless narratives resonate with audiences and cultures across the world. But it's not just the themes of love and loss that unite these stories. It's also the motif of the other world, found in Celtic mythology and echoed in various forms in other mythological traditions. Whether it's the Greek Elysium or the Norse Asgard, the concept of an otherworldly realm where the boundaries between mortal and immortal are blurred is a recurring theme in myth and legend. By drawing parallels between different mythologies, our story invites us to reflect on the universal themes and motifs that unite humanity across time and space. For just as Oshin's journey transcends the boundaries of mortal life, so too does the story itself transcend the confines of a single culture or tradition, speaking to the shared experiences of love, longing, and the quest for meaning that bind us all together. As we come to the end of our journey through Tirnanog, I want to extend my deepest gratitude to each and every one of you for joining me on this enchanting adventure. Your presence has added a touch of magic to our storytelling and I'm truly grateful for the opportunity to share these captivating tales with you. Remember, the wonders of Tirnanog may fade for now, but they will forever linger in the corners of your dreams, waiting to be rediscovered whenever you close your eyes. So until we meet again for more enchanting stories, may your dreams be filled with joy wonder, and the eternal embrace of love. And as you drift off to sleep, I leave you with this final thought. 
What dreams may come when the boundaries between reality and fantasy blur into one? May your journey through the night be filled with wonder and delight. And may the mysteries of Tirnanog guide you on your way. Ihawai. Good night.